Hi, my name is Matthew Jester. I'm just doing a quick video on what hypnosis is and going over the basics. So I have a certificate of completion here just showing that I have successfully completed a hypnosis course online. Also showing mostly that I have a level of competency in the field of hypnosis, which is what I actually intended to say. But anyways, please watch my video, Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Innovation. I will leave a link in the description. I will also leave additional links in the description of other relevant videos. I've been abused with hypnosis and my ability to speak is being inhibited with hypnosis, which is why I have to read everything when I make videos. If you notice me stuttering, speaking slowly, being unable to speak clearly, or any other difficulty speaking, I explain how this is being done to me in the video, Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Inhibition. In this video, I'll be covering a couple of theories of hypnosis, some important terms that will help anyone learning hypnosis to better understand hypnosis, going into depth on <clears throat> an important concept known as the critical factor or critical faculty, and briefly explaining the diff different techniques used in direct hypnosis and Ericksonian hypnosis. Some of this vital information is almost impossible to find on the internet for free, and even then can be difficult to fully comprehend, so I hope I have articulated and explained why hypnosis is very well in this video for you and the general public to have a clear understanding of what hypnosis is. The first theory is that hypnosis is the same thing as trance, depending on how you define hypnosis. You could use the terms trance and hypnosis interchangeably, although I personally differentiate as not all trance well, trances will increase an individual's susceptibility to accepting post-hypnotic suggestions or hypnotic commands like hypnosis is intended to. There is no official definition of hypnosis that is recognized by the scientific community as a whole, so either definition is technically not incorrect. According to the human givens theory, hypnosis is any artificial method of accessing the REM state, which is naturally active while dreaming. This theory of hypnosis would provide a logical explanation for all the phenomena that is associated with hypnosis, in case anyone is not familiar with REM or the REM state, it's an acronym for a rapid eye movement and it's the second stage of sleep when we dream. Hypnosis definition, somnambulism. Somnambulism is medical terminology for sleepwalking and hypnosis is, is a deep stage of trance that mimics a very similar appearance to sleepwalking, which is why this stage of trance was named somnambulism. This is the stage of trance known to produce the most profound hypnotic effects and is when post hypnotic suggestions are primarily given. I don't know if anyone else noticed that was when I slowed down my speech at the absolute most... Um, and, uh, you know, like, <clears throat> I've also been, uh, you know, throughout this entire thing, my muscles have been, like, you know, just randomly getting tense while I'm reading, so then I calm it down, and then I have, uh, all other thoughts of, uh, from post-hypnotic suggestions that are distracting and inhibiting, and it's just extremely abusive. So again, you know, that's why I show this certificate is just to show that I have a level of competency in the field of hypnosis and <clears throat> that I actually do know what I'm talking about. So anyways, please make sure to watch my video, Hypnosis Abuse and Speech Inhibition, and I'll go ahead and remake the video correctly again.